China's gantry cranes monopolized the world, and India's choice of Japanese products turned out to be a big joke. In this video, let us take a detailed look. In recent years, China's shipbuilding industry has flourished. Among them, the gantry crane has made a great contribution. From small domestic LNG ships to large aircraft carriers, the construction process cannot do without the assistance of gantry cranes. What's even more outrageous is that the gantry cranes used to build aircraft carriers can only be called ordinary models, in China with a lifting capacity of 1,000 tons. The largest gantry crane in China can lift 22,000 tons of heavy objects on the ground, which is equivalent to the weight of 14,000 cars. Now China occupies an absolute monopoly in the field of gantry cranes, occupying nearly 90% of the global market, but some countries refuse to believe it. For example, India gave up Chinese products and bought Japanese gantry cranes, but in the end it made a big joke. So how powerful is China's gantry crane? What about the big joke in India? The gantry crane is a large-scale lifting device whose overall shape is a door type. Its main working place is in the dock and port. In recent years, China's shipbuilding industry has entered a new era with rapid development. Whether it is a commercial ship or a warship, as well as an offshore minefield, gantry cranes are absolutely indispensable. All large ships are built on land, including aircraft carriers. The manufacturing process of an aircraft carrier is to first divide the aircraft carrier into multiple plates, then gradually carry out partial production, and finally bring all parts of the production number to the dock for assembly and docking. And the assembly and docking is when the gantry crane shows its full potential. The gantry crane is like a scalpel in the hands of a skilled surgeon, accurately splicing every part of the hole together. Of course, gantry cranes are not only used to build aircraft carriers. Medium and large warships, civilian cruise ships, and even ports or offshore drilling platforms are completely inseparable from gantry cranes. Even when the Three Gorges Dam in China is releasing floods, a gantry crane is needed to lift the entire valve. It is really commendable that China can develop large-scale cranes with independent property rights through its own efforts, under the continuous extrusion and restrictions of foreign countries. Take today's protagonist Hong Hai as an example. Its lifting capacity has reached 22,000 tons, which is the largest in the world. It is precisely because of the excellent quality of China's gantry cranes that China has an absolute monopoly in the international large-scale lifting tools. At present, China has taken over almost all markets in the world with an absolute advantage of 90%. Of course, 10% of the market is contracted by other countries. However, customers need to be cautious when choosing products from other countries. For example, India once suffered a big loss because it did not want to buy cranes made in China. Three years ago, India wanted to build a P-17A stealth frigate, but it did not have a crane that could afford it so it could only look for targets in overseas markets. In the end, India locked on the British Goliath. This 1,000 tons Goliath is a hero of the United Kingdom. Without it, the construction of the British Queen Elizabeth would not be so smooth. Back then, Britain bought it for 130 million yuan and hoped to sell it to India for 260 million yuan. Money is not a problem for India, but after India knew that Goliath was made in China, it directly stopped the plan to buy it. Later, India bought a gantry crane made in Japan. Although it was only a 250 tons crane, it was enough for India. Unexpectedly, an unexpected scene happened. 
During the use of this gantry crane in India, it was directly blown by a strong wind, and the P-17A below was also smashed. It was only later that people learned that the gantry cranes produced in Japan only had the ability to resist earthquakes, not wind. We also don't know where India's prejudice came from, obviously China's gantry cranes are cheap and strong. If India hadn't been troubled by self-esteem at the time, perhaps the invisible frigate would have galloped on the sea long ago. The gantry crane, which seems to have no technical content, is actually quite difficult to manufacture. It is mainly used in the shipbuilding industry, which is a sunset industry in most countries and has little market demand. On the contrary, China's shipbuilding industry is in its prime of development. We all know that the purpose of enterprises is to make profits, and if the manufacturing industry wants to make profits, it must produce in batches. The greater the output, the lower the cost. And China has the conditions for batch and industrialized production. 25 years ago, large cranes were mainly distributed in Europe and the United States, but the labor costs in developed countries were extremely high. On the contrary, China is not only cost-effective, but also has high production efficiency. For example, the total cost of manufacturing a gantry crane in China is only 5 million yuan, because China has mature production lines. In foreign countries, the cost of manufacturing a gantry crane is about 7.5 million, and without professional production lines and sales channels, even if it is manufactured, it cannot achieve mass production. Therefore, in the end, other countries will choose to import gantry cranes from China. Today, the gantry cranes which are made in China have already enjoyed a good reputation overseas. China has long been dissatisfied with the 1,000 tons lifting capacity of large-scale gantry cranes, and now domestic gantry cranes have reached the 10,000 tons level. Take the Chinese-made Honghai as an example. The Honghai is 148 meters high and about 50 stories high. It can easily lift 22,000 tons of things, which is equivalent to the weight of 400 high-speed rail cars. And its main body adopts a truss structure, which is a structure composed of rods connected to each other with hinges at both ends. Generally, the plane or space structure with triangular units can greatly reduce the weight of the steel structure of the crane. While reducing the manufacturing cost, it can also effectively reduce the wind resistance of the structure, which fully guarantees that this 10,000 tons level lifting equipment has extremely strong anti-wind effect. In addition, this is driven by electricity and there is no need to replace the oil during operation, and the maintenance of consumables is also effectively controlled. Honghai has also developed a brand new function which can lift offshore drilling platforms weighing more than 10,000 tons, directly lift them up and move them, and install them precisely in specific positions. China's wisdom is endless, and the seemingly clumsy big shelf is actually quite convenient and dexterous. To borrow a sentence from a foreign professor, China, the giant dragon, is waking up and will definitely affect the world again. The Chinese gantry crane is also the crystallization of Chinese wisdom, and it is a well-deserved door of China. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.